What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Proliferate Cube. I think we had a good time earlier. I'm not sure. We went one two on our first on our first Proliferate Cube outing. I think we learned some things, and hopefully, we can apply those things to this thing. Oh, Drana seems good. Gadrak. What does this idiot do? Can't attack unless you control four or more artifacts. This definitely has an artifact theme to it. Untethered Express is also pretty good. Hmm. Celestial Colonnade is just a just a, a beater. Um. I mean, Evolution Sage does seem pretty good. Not the Plague, I will check it later. Uh, untethered, Evolution Sage, Gadrac, or Drana. These are all options, man. I don't know what to do. Cave of Temptations. Oh, Lord. I think it's, Evol I think it's Evolution Sage. I'm going to take the Sage again. It's very sage like ooh breeding pool. Are we gonna go are we gonna go blue green again? <sighs> this is a card that speaks to me. Proliferating onto sagas doesn't seem great because like Like you just like I don't know. It just doesn't seem great to me, I guess. I don't know how to explain it, you know. Um I think Nadir Kraken is the best card in this pack. Maybe Vish Call? It can't be right. We could take Wickaba. I think Wickaba is pretty good. I think Elspeth Conqueror's Death is fine. I'm just I don't love green white as an archetype. Could just take Prophetic Prism. I'm gonna take the Prism. It's a nice easy pick. Biogenicus. Bing ding bing. Verdant Catacomb. That could be sweet. Nice, uh... I think it's just the ooze. Let's take the ooze. Proliferating onto, like, ten different oozes seems good. Inscription again? I do like Inscription. What does Generous Patron do? Lanterns Battlefield Support 2. Whenever you put one or more counters on a creature you don't control, draw a card. I don't really want to do that. I'm just going to take Inscription again. Card was good. Yeah, I also don't... I'm not super... Oh, I like Sylvan Carry added a lot. Move a counter from a permanent you control into another target permanent. Activate this ability anytime you can activate a sorcery. Or you could cast a sorcery. You don't activate sorceries. Yeah, I'm just taking Carry added here. Bing, 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 ding, 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 ding. Thank you for the reset, buddy. Welcome back, my dude. 
I really like Rolesk, actually. This proliferates twice when he dies. Oh god, are we just doing blue green again? I'm such a I'm such a blue green bitch. Rolex? Yeah. Oh look, and we get an Azuri too. Wow. Alright. When this side is output put on Mercury's so devotion. Yeah. Ugh, God. This is it. This is my life. I'm sorry if you guys are watching the second uh proliferate draft after the first proliferate draft proliferate draft and you're just like god i can't believe he's wrapped in blue green again with the same exact evolution sage inscription azuri deck but thank you garrett with the 10 gifted subs my dude thank you buddy I appreciate you, man. Thank you. What if we don't only play... What if we also play red and play Phylath? Thank you. Because the other option is Crawl Harpooner. Choose friend or foe. Each friend puts one on counter on each creature that control each foe. Thank you. I'm just going to take the Phylath. Garrett, you're awesome, Thank dude. You. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. Just put it as number three. It's not a bad idea. Thank you. But I've already mentioned that it's number two. Oh, I'm gonna take this Untethered Express because this card was really good. Uh, Thank you. In that format, it crews with the bare minimum of one. Thank you. And it, it attacks as a five-five with trample, and then a six-six, seven-seven. Eh, Korean Dryad could be fine. And I wasn't watching on YouTube, and I forgot I wasn't... Oh, you forgot. I got it. I was like... I thought you were... Because I didn't see Forgot, so you're like, it's been forever, and I wasn't watching on YouTube, and I was like, all right, take it easy. All right, and take it easy. I actually really love Kazmina as a card. Making a 2-2 and looting for... Uh, while also making their removal spells cost two more is really good. And if you can proliferate onto her, maybe you can get some extra hits. Of the five colors, white, blue, black, red, and green, would you say your single favorite color is Simic or Sultai? Oh, God. Neither of those are colors, you freaking liar. I'm just going to take a generous patron. It's too big brain for me to, uh... For me to try to figure out ways to, like, give their creatures counters to draw cards. Maybe, like, a plus one, plus one counter is... Support is interesting because you can do it on their creatures, which is weird because why would you want to support them? Oh, nesting ground. Moving counters? Oh, it's Grim Poppet. Ruinous Path, okay. Sulmic? Graft? Simtai? What's going on right now? Butterfree! I'm okay, Dad. Oh, Butterfree. Are you okay? Uh, whenever this deals combat damage to a player, for each kind of counter on a permanent or player, give that permanent another counter of that type. It's pretty good. It's, it's kind of like a proliferate for one thing. B -b -b Butterfree. I ain't going for no bant. I got red in here. That's not... That's, uh, that's teamer, bro. We're going to take the taiga, though. Because I think that's where we want to be oh what up Neil all the way from Australia oh a stomping ground too you shouldn't have well you shouldn't have I like a metamorph I like a Rishkar too Rishkar Ogar I'm just taking stomping ground I want to oh tropical island oh god Atraxa she's the two colors we are not yeah, I'm just taking Trop here. Then why the British accent? Well, because I suck, and that's why. Oh, Menowarf's plenty worthy, but I'm just not going to avoid, like, premiere fixing. What's Alexa, what's the temperature outside? 
Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Right now, it's 31 degrees Fahrenheit. Tonight, expect a low of 30 degrees. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to shut this window real quick. Hold on. And like that, he was gone. I love, like, cool air sneaking in as much as the next guy, but 30 degrees is where I draw the line. <laughs> you lazy prick. God, he's so aggressive, dude. Chasm Skull here was good. I think Incubation Druid is just too good, though. Primal Might. <sighs> It's going to rain. <laughs> Thank you, Ollie. I do. I hate it when she misses it the first time. I'm like, oh God, I have to say it again. Um, I feel like this is very similar to our first deck. I don't even recognize these, but they look really good. Savage Swipe is decent. Watcher is decent. I think I'm taking Watcher just because it draws us a card. Ooh, Flooded Grove. Yeah, let's Flooded Grove. Rekindling Phoenix is interesting. There's a lot of cards that make tokens, and I'm like, Proliferate doesn't have to do with tokens, it just has to do with counters. I gave you Gruel Marriage deck a whirl today, and I'm loving it. Just gotta figure out how to fit Terror of the Peaks in there. That's not a bad idea. That's just a card I overlooked, I think. I think I'd rather have Volt Charge than Ratchet Bomb. I just think Volt... Is I, I think I think I don't like Ratchet Bomb as a card. Same thing with like Blast Zone. I just think they're too hard to set up. <laughs> okay, I understand. I understand. Like Mousetrap, yeah, you just don't want to set it up. Once you set it up, you're like, it's not even worth it, man. Well, yeah, I'll take Gin of Wishes, actually. It seems fine. We have definitely become a teamer stream. Simic Flux Mage. One, two, move a counter onto a different creature. This guy's a four, three, four, three. When you kick him, he enters the counter. Which is a 5 4 for 5. Double red. I'm just going to go with Fluxy Boy. Grim Grin. Doesn't untap. When it attacks, destroy a creature defending player controls and put one on counter. I'm just taking the Grim Grin. What if we get a black and we can just play Grim Grin too? Grim Grim. We're very lightly splashing this red for Phylath and Volt Charge. And we have Sylvan Carry added as well. And Prophetic Prism. Oh, Chasm Skulker? Why not? Oh, Essence Scatter? Why not? We 
know what? Stormfleet Aerialist? Sure. I mean, let's be real. This is a five drop. As my conscience seems to be. Oh, I guess we took a, a, a pteromander. What do we got here? Great Henge is sweet. Sword of Truth and Justice, I don't care about. I think it's gotta be Great Henge, right? Great Henge is just fantastic. Oran Reef Ooze is pretty good, but I think Great Henge is just stronger. Where are the one drops in this cube? I don't know. I just work here. Behind the blue eyes. One one and proliferate. Yeah, Nissa seems pretty sweet actually. Plus it's another planeswalker. Yeah, I'm taking that Nissa. I don't necessarily care about Dryad. I think it's probably pretty weak in this deck. I don't care about Flux Mage really. Den Protector. <laughs> Riddle Smith is meh. Fairy Vandal is meh. Yeah, might just be Denny. D -d -d Denny and the Jits. What do you use to style your hair? Um, usually nothing. Right now I have some Baxter of California clay pomade. Ooh, Virtuous Gear Hulk sounds like a big fat daddy. Yeah, Virtuous Gear Hulk seems bananas. B A N. You so pretty. You 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 so pretty, Neil. I don't want fop. God damn it! I'm a dapper Dan man. Well, I can get you Dapper Dan. Be two weeks. Well, isn't this place a geographical oddity? oddity? Two weeks from everywhere. I mean, Jade Light Ranger is pretty, pretty good. I'm taking Jade Light Ranger. I don't know if Generous Patron, patron is great or not. Draw a card. Like, 1-1-1-1. One, 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 one. I use Lubriderm Extra Dry Lotion to style my hair. That's Chris's way of saying his head is shaved. Was that from Tremors? No, that was from Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? It's a Coen Brothers film. Maybe you've heard of it. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. He's bona fide. My head is shiny AF. Buddy, I ain't even surprised. Sahili the Gifted. What is this? Four mana, create a 1 1 servo for plus 1. The next spell you cast costs one less for each artifact you control. For each artifact you control, create a token that's a copy. Could be Delta too, it gets Tropical Island. But that's it. Could also be Long Tusk Code, but I don't think I love Long Tusk Code. I kind of like Sahili to just plus one and make, make birds. My hair makes its own styling gel. Wow. I don't... 
I don't understand. I am a man of constant sorrow. <laughs> oh man, it's funny that it's like one of my least. It's it's actually definitely not high on my list of of Coen Brothers films, but I still think it's good. Yeah, I'll take Devoted Druid, I guess. Karn's Bastion seems interesting. It should have counters on it. I wonder if Ozolov is good. I'm going to try it. Sure. I don't think we need another ramp creature. We have Sylvan and Incubation Druid. Oh, Steam Vents is, is really nice. That's a nice late pickup. I'm going to take out Essence Scatter because I feel like we're not... Uh, I feel like we're tapping out a lot. Take out Generous Patron. I just don't... I'm not... I don't understand it, so. I kind of want Sahili in here. Okay, so my biggest crime as a Coen Brothers fan is that I actually haven't seen Blood Symbol. Oh, I don't feel good about it. Oh, oh the Orin Reef Ooze came back. Create a 1 1, put three counters on something. If you control creature, drop four, rare, drop two cards. Yeah, I'm taking the ooze. It's not that great without negative one, negative one. Oh, right, because you're putting negative one counters on there, guys. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. God, are you smart? I kind of want to take out Gin of Wishes because it's double blue and it's the only double blue card we have. I am main. Oh, there was a ton of red cards that we should have looked at better. I was like, well, green's the only card that we can play. So I took the green card, but then I was like, well, maybe we should have looked at the red card. Jenna Bushes? I don't know who that is. Definitely sounds like a porn star, though. You've never seen a Coen Brothers film? What about Big Lebowski? Or No Country for Old Men? I feel like those are the most likely candidates. Fargo is also a likely candidate, yeah. I'm gonna take... No spoilers for anyone who hasn't seen it yet. I watched the end, the season finale of The Boys Tonight with Katie and Michael, and it was very, very enjoyable. If you guys haven't watched it, you guys should definitely check out The Boys on Amazon Prime. This is a solid amount of lands. I'm a man of constant sorrow. So we have two cuts to make. We can probably cut Prism. I think our mana is good enough. Yes, 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 yes. You're more of a five drop. You're more of a three drop. I kind of don't care about Gin of Wishes here. All right, this is 23. I'm okay with this 23. Sort by color. Three red cards. Oh, we have Sacred Foundry in here. Let's get that thing out of here. And we have one, two, three red sources. So probably six. Eight. So we have blue sources. We have one, two, three. So seven. So this is, uh, we get 12 lands. This is, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, four, five, six. So this is nine, seven, six. 
Yeah, that seems good. Oh, what up, X-Fire? Yeah, Old Country is very... Uh, no Country for Old Men is really good. <laughs> oh, boy. I appreciate how quickly you guys are placing your units in stream, in stream Raiders, man. Old Country for No Men. Who lives here? No Men. Just an old country, man. It's definitely not old country for no man. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> uh, I can guarantee you. Uh, yeah, I'll play first. You know what? No guts, no glory. We're going to draw Sylvan Carriated Land Land, and it's going to be very satisfying. I would participate, but on my PS4. I accept that. How many units we got right now? Already 11? And that's before anyone gets to re redeploy? Reploy, if you will. Seven carry added. You know what? I'll take a Flooded Grove. I kind of just want to play Den Protector here. Because it trades with Kithian all the same, whether we play it this turn or next turn. And we don't really have a turn three drop or a fourth land, so, you know. I don't want to be taking, like, six damage. Guys, PlayStation 5 comes out in less than a month, and I'm real excited about it. Easy peasy. Blocking sneezy. Okay. Three, four drops. A five drop. And a great hinge. I trust my brother has been doing his due diligence keeping his gifted subs coming. I don't think I've I don't think I've seen Eric in a while actually. Cyberpunk does come out in a little over a month, but you know what's really frustrating? I guess it's not frustrating. I keep forgetting that I'm not playing it on console. I'm going to be playing it on PC, and I'm like, dang, they're not even going to have the PS5 version out until like next year. But then I'm like, oh wait, I own a PC, so that's I'm just going to play it on PC. Oh, wow. Game 10 life. What game are you looking forward to most? Uh, Spider-Man. Not even close. The The Spider-Man PS4 game was like literally one of my favorite games. And I think it's like very close to like game of the year for me that year. And, uh... Okay. Well, that's... Unfortunate. Come on. What, what kind of draft would it be if I didn't, uh... If I didn't miss... Multiple land drops. <laughs> Make sure he knows that you know he has more money to give. <laughs> I will. I'll be like, your brother ratted you out, buddy. I know your secret. Secret, secret, I know your secret. Ba -da 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 -da. Loving this game, loving this game. This is really frustrating. <sighs> like, I just don't even think we can come back here. 
like we play this we take we block here we take four or Kazmina dies like we just we're still taking seven here <laughs> yeah I'm just, just not even fun like missing two land drops and like when they have a four four and a three two is just pretty brutal and not enjoyable I'm gonna sort by convert I'm gonna take out the stupid den protector maybe bring in like bark hide troll might just be better as like a three three for two I don't know man I just work here I'm surprised no one has gifted stream captain bought a sub yet is that a interesting uh, Arctic Avenger usually is on top of stuff like that <laughs> alright we'll keep this Nissa into into Kazmina into Gear Hulk. Seems good. They did mulligan to six again, so maybe we have a chance, guys. It's funny when you think you only have a chance when your opponent mulligans because of your horrendous luck. Secret, secret. Uh, Antibody is actually at the top of the gifted substandings right now, so. Good on you, Antibody. I mean, it's the least he could do for, for not knowing that the movie's not called Old Country for No Men. Because that's not a real thing. He's just making up movie titles. Next turn we can Kazmina. And then we have lots of options. My parents look at those residuals from that 80s song. Nice. <laughs> God, that's that's nice just collecting a check. Because, you know, you only had one son. That's a good deal. Um, I'm just taking Oh, this is attacking too? Oh my god. I hate streaming. Oh, gifted a sub to No Country for Old Chads. <laughs> That's really frustrating. I would have 100% blocked there. <sighs> what can you do for a Klondike bar? Ba -ding -ding. That doesn't make any sense at all. Well, this guy's probably going to flip. That's really annoying. Wow. If you cast me, I would block. I appreciate it. Someone has to. Wow, that was so dumb. It's just because I didn't see it attacking, like, because it has vigilance. And I didn't look close enough to see the red, because I was, I was reading the chat. What a sucker. Tomorrow I'm getting a paycheck from a company I might never actually work for. That sounds like a good gig. They're all going face. I mean, we're just going to make you save Kithian, I guess. Which is Thank you. cool. No country for old these nuts. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> but why are you like this? Oh, boy. Attacks Gideon if able. Okie dokie. Buddy. <laughs> it's gotta be Gear Hulk here, right? <sighs> I 
three and one. Do 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 do. Sure, I'll tag Gideon. Do 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 do. He's just singing random friggin' Oh wow, he just traded Gideon. For, okay. And that was <laughs> getting a planeswalker off the board is fine by me. No sweat off my sack. That's a reference to a nut sack. It's not appropriate, but that's what it is. We got it. <laughs> oh, man. Is it just me or are the cards in play smaller? I don't think so. I haven't changed any settings. See, that's a good card. Yeah, I don't really care about that that much. But don't impress me much. Yeah, this is fine. I'll, I'll trade a Gear Hulk for a 5 5 Topan Free Blade. Got the kind of love that can be so Give me your heart, make it real, or else forget about it. Uh, if your sack is sweaty, you're looking at getting some gold bond. I don't want gold bond. I'm a dapper Dan man. <laughs> See, that's 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 quality. See, that's quality jokes. I kind of just want to attack with both and volt charge this if they block. And if they don't block, maybe we'll play like Biojackoos. And we got a block, boys. I guess actually we can play Barkhide Troll, and it's it's better to put the counter on 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 Barkhide Troll. Yeah, it seems good. Six six four four. Full grip. This is not a full grip, this is three cards. But they're three good cards, so it's basically a full grip. This place is a geographic oddity. Two weeks from everywhere. Okay, you got a long boy. thought you was a toad <laughs> oh man you guys coming out with the with the bangers dang it dang it dang it I think we just want ooze here we can just attack with both what do they take 10 yikes Like, I'm not going to Kazmina until I have a card I don't want, and there's no reason to get rid of the Planeswalker for just a random loot when all the, all the cards in our hand are good, so. So this guy put one on counter on Long Tusk Cub. So I would actually, I would trade both for Long Tusk. Long Tusk Cub is very strong. Proliferate.
So just this guy, and you have double counters on him. Um, yeah, all right. Ooze it is. Ooze your daddy. There's no flying creatures on board, right? Man, it's good that we don't have Rolesque out here. Rolex. One, two, three, four, five. <sighs> like another land lets us go land in either Phylath or Watcher in Azuri. I don't know if that's exciting though. I feel like it's just actually Rolesque here. Like it's a flyer. Um, three, four, five. They can double block here, but then they take ten, so they actually can't do that. So they actually have to block two of these. They can't just block one, so they have to. Oh, I guess they could actually double block Nissa. <laughs> that doesn't kill her though, so there's no point. So. What? I don't understand. That doesn't make any sense to me. What? Yeah, just pitch evolution sage. Why would they double block there? I don't understand. I'm very confused. Okay. Well, third game's the charm. I'll keep this. We need a blue, but we have like eight sources of blue. Seven sources of blue. Yeah, it was probably Bio Rhythm. That was probably what it was. <laughs> oh, God. They have a Kithy in every single game. one creature so we are going to be able to play mm -hmm. that's it's pretty decent We need an island here.
unfortunately, we don't have one. Yep, three counters probably going to Kithian. Hmm, that's fascinating. I mean, I don't want to block because they just regenerate this guy, but maybe that's better for us. I, I don't, I can't imagine. Oh, for fuck's sake. So the funny thing is, we can actually fight this and kill it. Or we can fight this and keep everything else alive. Which might actually be better. I mean, we're still pretty dead. I mean, I'll trade Jade Light for Hero, I guess, but like, like just stumbling in this format has been pretty miserable. That's pretty good. So if we double lock here, we take five, six, seven, eight, nine, we go to one. Yep. And we still lose both of our guys. Yeah. Let's go to the next game. Or next match, I guess. Play some cookie clicker. <laughs> Do you remember when there was like the conspiracy theories about how cookie clicker was like a uh it was like a way to like, I don't, I, Bitcoin, I don't know if Bitcoin was around back then, but it was like a way to like utilize your processing power for some nefarious thing. Cookie clicker, <laughs> Jesus. See, that's funny, man. I don't know. Cookie clicker. That's wild. Because we was clicking too many cookies. Dude, Cookie Clicker used to get crazy. What's the hold up here? Do I want to be a warrior or a tank? It's hard to say. 
Again, I'm going to keep it because we have so many blue sources that I just feel like, again, we're playing against a white deck with one drops. Nailed it. Probably just going to drop this guy as a 1-2 because, you know, the... Uh, that card's fucking bananas. I'm actually pretty sure that card's not beatable. Wow. Got a nice little Saturday ahead going to the Home Depot. <laughs> We're going streaking. We're going down down by the quad. Yep. So I'm pretty sure they're just going to kill this guy. <laughs> oh good. Wow, this is turn 1, turn 2, turn 3, turn 4 and they still have Blood Artist in hand. Seems legit. Three, four, we can make five mana. Okay. Let's go to combat, put a counter on the druid. Mina, make a dude. Yep, choose a card to discard. Island, play this thing. Sure. I mean, this is like the ideal opening. You've played your whole hand out by turn five. I don't know what to make of this cube. I mean, making servos for the rest of the game seems decent. We have like 19 mana. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Just another manic Monday. Whoa, whoa. And three face down, yeah. Yep. Let's put five counters. Oh, this isn't a Thopter, it's a Servo. Wow, that's worse. That is worse.
I don't even want to attack because then they just block. They get their guy back. It triggers Blood Artist. It triggers Anafenza. And uh, <laughs> they just get another guy. Yeah, this is actually uh, almost unbeatable, I think. So that's, that's pretty cool. Just gonna have six here because we don't have a thing to do. Yeah, I don't know how we're not dead yet. Like they should have to alpha here. We have dead blood artist. Actually, one, two, three, five, six, this guy. It's nice to have, I guess. Wish I had another land here. And I feel like we have to kind of kill Blood Artist, but then they just get Blood Artist back with flying, so it's... <sighs> Boy. Yeah, unfortunately we don't have a way to kill this because it's a 5-6. Oh, I meant six, seven. My bad. I don't understand these attacks. So we can go, we can actually kill this. No, we can't, it's a seven now. I was literally gonna be like, we could kill it twice with Volt Charge, Den Protector, Volt Charge. But uh, we, we can't actually do that. So now we're just going to get back Stormfleet Aerialist because it gives us a turn if they don't, you know, attack for lethal. I tried to put it on the, on the, I'm like, can I put it on this guy? Oh, it's got to be a plant. Okay. I mean, this is going to be an 8 next turn, and this is a 2-3, so probably not. I mean, the problem is if we, if we, even to have the aerialist, we have to den protector already, so we can't den protector the second bolt charge. Um, yeah, I think. Like, I can't even attack. Like, this is ridiculous. I mean, I guess we're just crossing our fingers that this deck does not just do this every game. Yep, that's a big fat dude. This is just phenomenal. Eight toughness. Yep. <laughs> Nothing to do at the end of the turn, right? We can Volt Charge something, but then they have Mothra, so it doesn't... <laughs> Literally nothing to play here. Okay. 
cool. I've never seen the Great Henge do less. Let's bring in Essence Scatter, surprisingly. I don't think I care about Ozolith, to be honest with you. It seems way too cute. Just another Manic Monday. If you guys want to support the channel, a great way to do that is to go to manatraders.com. They have an awesome subscription service for Magic Online where you can borrow cards for Modern, Pioneer, Historic, Standard, you name it. And uh, they have a great subscription price, and it's a great way to support the channel. So go to manatraders.com. You can get 15% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below. Take my money. Oh, one support buck. I appreciate you, Chorwit. Keep up the good work, gamer. <laughs> hmm. I don't appreciate your stupid blood artist Mothra combo. What a wombo combo. Um, I kind of like carry added here better because then we can just hit Azuri and then Azuri into Watcher is way more value. You're so good at reciting that. Hey man, I'm just telling the truth. This is cost six, so we're just gonna. <laughs> okay, you got it, champ. You got it, sport. So if we hit a land, we can play Great Henge. You did it, chief. Journey to nowhere. I would have gotten. Eh, no, I wouldn't have. Yeah, it's still it's still better to get rid of that guy. Five, six, and now having two creatures in hand for this guy is pretty juicy. Assuming they don't have Oblivion Ring, Banishing Light, or a third <laughs> enchantment based removal spell for my Great Henge, so. Just another manic Monday. Oh, it's your favorite and mine. Thankfully, he's significantly less impressive here. When they don't have one drop, two drop, three drop, four drop, five drop, six drop, seven drop, nine drop. Uh, let's go Skulker first, because then we're going to draw cards. One, two, three... Watcher. Let's hide away. Uh, let's get a Primal Might under there. See, this game's over. Is that everything? Okay. Yeah, that's the end. Yeah, see, this is how I felt in game one, so I guess, I guess our deck was better that time. I don't even know. I wholeheartedly wish Frank could get paid professionally outside of subs, etc. for singing card names as song titles. It has changed my life forever. That's a compliment. I appreciate it. We can actually bring in Sacred Foundry for Night of Autumn. And then we also have Sylvan Carry added. Is that... That seems fine to me? We could bring in Prism if we... If we're feeling... Let's get the Den Protector again. Bring in... Uh, Barkhide Troll. <laughs> it's two sources of white for one white card. Eh. 
What can you do? I will keep this because we have an Anissa and all our colors and double green and they didn't have a one oh there it is there she is <laughs> the Michael B song is the one that's stuck in my head people at work know them now why are you singing about that guy again shut up don't worry about it that's why you want to leave with that forest Foresto. You got it. I will block. Huh. Four fat chickens, give me their meat. Riding down the street. Well, that's a thing, isn't it? Interesting. What does it say? When another creature, if it has a one-one counter, I create a knight. So next time we can like put two counters on this guy and fight. I think that's fine. We can also just keep it up in case we want to do some shenanigans. Character against flying and double strike, sure. Yep, you got it. Very aggressive. Ask. Choose a creature for the counters. This guy. Choose target player. This guy. Me and you. Tapped out. I can easily sack this guy and put the counters on here. That's fine. Interesting. So, <laughs> Th Thunderbolt. And the lightning strikes. Is that how it goes? What was that Garth Brooks? Whatever happened to Garth Brooks? And they probably just block with Knight and sack at the carrion feeder. They did not sack it to anything. That's strange. He married Trisha Yearwood. Why do you know that? Yep, this is pretty good. We're just dead here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. No, I guess we're not dead. It doesn't look great though. Great hinge. So four for that. And yet we can't cast anything else after that. Because we drew one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lands to five spells. So, you know. That's kind of cool. And they can easily go block here, block here, and then we die. 
13, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, they also just give double strike to this thing and kill us. Yep, that's going to be the game. All right, well, O2 is a pretty sweet... I've been having a good time with this cube. <laughs> it doesn't seem absolutely... Uh, I, I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out, like... Is it imbalanced? Is it me? I don't know. Hard to say. Let's see if we can 1-2 again. That, that'd be cool. 1-2 is probably my favorite record. Clearly blue-green is not where we want to be in this cube. That is the lesson that I'm slowly learning, I guess. Ding, ding, bing, ding, ding. Oh god, Epic Centurions times two on the battlefield. Looking good. Guys, get up in the streamraiders.com slash T slash Frank Lepore and help us. Oh, Epic Monk by Affinity. Nice. Uh, Alright, we'll keep this hand because it looks great from the outside. I'm on the outside. I'm looking in. You guys know this? Remember this stained song? How did they get so epic? How do you guys get epic things? Are you guys opening? Are you guys opening treasure chests and things? Did you see me pull this land up like it was arena? I, like dragged it to the battlefield? You silly goose. That's not how that works. How many white decks are we gonna face? I think white is probably just the strongest. Is it just the strongest archetype? Why are we whispering? Am I whispering? Um, I think Kazmina here is probably better. Because we do want to hit a land, so. And there's no pressure, so Planeswalkers with no pressure is just... Chef's kiss. Um, I think it's Phylath, unfortunately. We just don't have a red source, and, like, we can play this if we hit a land. This will find us a land. This is removal, and this guy's also just playable and good. Okay, okay. Interesting. I'm just going to play Ooze. Frank's right is coming. <laughs> I understood that reference. You were referring to the police cars that are coming to get me. Based on my criminal, my, my deviancy. I understand. Like, I feel like we're way ahead, but I also don't know how many sweepers are in this cube, so we could literally be setting ourselves up for a great failure. You can tell you buy too many watches when Facebook is is showing you Shazer LeCoult ads. <laughs> oh, Mossy Beer with the raid. What up, my dude? Welcome back. I'm on the outside. 
Oh, Kitchen Finks? Solid. I've started seeing ads for plasma cutters. That's That also makes sense. I can see through you. So we can go one, two, three, Nissa. It's me, I'm back. How's this cube going for you? Not great. This is my second one, two, if we win this match. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, we get a land, we get three mana. Then we can plus two something to kill this. Hey, you want to buy a $12,000 plasma counter? Hey, you want to buy an $11,000 watch? And I'm like, yeah, kind of. I'm actually putting the counters on here for the mana, for the manus. Because putting it on these doesn't matter when they just block with Kitchen Finks. Gain life, put a counter on it. Like, it's just a combo, right? So. <coughs> they do only have two cards in hand, which is fine. Except when they draw them, they have three. Oh, no. Guys, hop up in the Stream Raiders. I don't want to ask again. Make sure you place your units. This is apparently a very hard battle. And I don't want to lose, okay? I don't like losing. I'm like I'm like Aaron in the office. I'm sorry. I don't like losing. I thought I was gonna win. Okay, so we just we just kill this. Why didn't they just kill us? Couldn't they have just killed us? Like they do this for two. They give it lifelink and then they kill us. Um. Um. I don't understand. You done messed up, A. A. Ron. So now we can get rid of it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What? I'm like. I'm really confused right now. Yeah, I'm just going to do this for four, right? And then they just can't do anything. Oh, we have Kazmina. Target a creature or planeswalker. No, that doesn't target creatures, though. So, why the slow roll? Huh? <laughs> I have four cards in my hand. <laughs> what the what the fuck? Like between turn six and when I actually cast it, it wasn't even a minute. Uh, okay. Oh, it's also spells. It's not. Why the slow roll? Like, what are you talking about, dude? <laughs> oh, God. Like, it's even more frustrating because you're going to, like, accuse me of slow rolling when you literally could have won the game instead. I don't know why you do this for three when you do it for two. You give it lifelink. Shoot us for one. You gain a life, put it on a counter. Yeah, I don't understand. I was busy considering why you didn't kill me. 
You should have killed me when you had the chance, Charles. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, now we got a Sahili. And we can go to Greeny Boy. Make a servo. You're not so different, you and I. <laughs> See, that'd be hilarious. I should have said that. See, that's funny. You're not so different, you and I. Same, same. Why the slow roll? <laughs> no. I mean, we're still going to block with ooze and, like, wit. Cool. Must be nice. It's fucking unbelievable. The player who complains that I spent less than a minute making a play and misses lethal with the literal combo that their deck is built around is ended up winning the game because they're very good at magic the gathering oh lord <laughs> it's fucking justice yep seems good oh again i don't fucking know this is attacking because it's just sitting there in the fucking red zone can we just kill them one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's frustrating. Try to control as we cast it. That's not very good. Yep. Hmm. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen damage. They would go to two. Oh, I guess they have a blocker too, so. That's pretty good. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Yep. Graveyard. Hilarious. Hilarious. Yeah, all right. Amazing. <sighs> so in this cube, I've lost two, three white decks in a row. That's been fun. It's just like, it's just like even more infuriating to watch your opponent bungle through their own deck while accusing you of slow rolling. Isn't Grimgrin good enough? We have literally zero ways to to make uh, black mana other than like Sylvan carry added and like splashing prophetic prism.
Yep. <laughs> oh, gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Sure. Fantastic. I'm sure this hand will do it. Okay. Better than nothing, I guess. <clears throat> Graveyard. Yeah, I'll keep that guy on top. That guy actually seems great for us next turn. Or the turn after. Brimaz. Big Brimarinos. Uh, I don't really want to attack here. I'd rather just block. I probably won't, but I am having fun now. <laughs> yeah. That's good. That's good stuff. Well, I can't deal with that guy. You gonna put counter on this guy? Sure. Well. I have no idea how to draft this cube. Why'd you slow roll that? Buddy, I got a fucking grip full of cards. Just take it easy. You're a goddamn maniac. So this is actually alright, because now we can Essence Scatter, and they don't have a creature to be, like, buffing. They do have five cards, and we have two. So that's... Jesus Christ. Come on, dude. Well, that's frustrating. <laughs> Fucking essence scatter in my hand like an asshole. Wow. Look like more of an idiot. Cool. Yep, this has been a fun draft. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, you got me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good times. I'll see you next time. Be sure to check out manatraders.com and nordvpn.org slash franklaport. You'll get 68% off any two-year subscription along with one month free. It's a great deal. And uh, I'll see you next time. <laughs>